Hello everyone, welcome to GK Today. All the videos of GK Today are absolutely free and available on GK Today's YouTube channel. And if you are looking for interactive quizzes in text and also their solutions, then please download the GK Today's Academy Android app. We have several free and paid courses in that app. And also I would like to recommend you that if you are preparing for UPSC prelims examination 2021 and 2022, then we have a daily current affairs quiz series in Academy app. You may subscribe to that series if you find it good. In that quiz, we provide daily 10 questions especially crafted for the UPSC preliminary examination and we try to connect each current affairs event with some fundamental knowledge in a static general studies topic. We hope you will find it very useful. Further. After the successful completion of the series on Indian polity in which we cover the entire Indian polity in 60 videos uh, with more than 1000 MCQs, here we are back to start up with another series that is on world geography. And this particular series is of 95 videos and in each video we are going to discuss about 10 to 15 questions. So now let's begin with the questions on world geography. So the first question is, what are primary waves also called as? Now you have the following options and the correct answer is option C, that is push waves. See, primary waves are also called as push waves. They are similar to sound waves and the particles move in the direction of the wave movement. Now the next question is, what is the point on the fault where seismic waves are released called? So you have the following options. And the correct answer is option A, that is hypocenter. See the focus or hypocenter is the point on the fault where rupture occurs and the location from which seismic waves are released. Now the next question is, which waves are first to arrive? Now you have the following options and the correct answer is option a that is P waves. See the P waves also called as longitudinal waves passing through both solids and liquids are the first to arrive. Now the next question is what are the two types of surface waves? Now you have the following options and the correct answer is option A that is love waves and relay waves. See uh, surface waves travel parallel to the Earth's surface and are the lowest and the most damaging. And surface waves are further divided into two that are love waves and the rally waves. Moving ahead with the next question. So what are the small earthquakes which precede the major earthquake called? Now you have the following options and the correct answer is option C that is four shocks. See, the small earthquakes called foreshocks often precede a major earthquake by days or in some cases by as much as several years. Now the next question is, which scale estimates the amount of energy released at the source of the earthquake? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option A that is richer scale. See, the richer magnitude scale estimates the amount of energy released at the source of the earthquake and the richer magnitude concept was introduced by Charles Richer in the year 1935. Now, the next question is, what is line connecting all points on the surface where the intensity is the same called? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option C, that is isoseismic. So basically the isoseismic line is the line connecting all the points on the surface where intensity is the same. Now the next question is what are the deep focus earthquakes also known as? Now you have the following options and the correct answer is option B that is intraplate, that is intraplate earthquakes. See the deep focus earthquakes are earthquakes deeper than 70 km and, and they occur in the pattern of Benioff zones. They are triggered by collision between the two plates, hence they are called as intraplate earthquakes. Now the next question is, which waves produce an entirely horizontal motion? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option C, that is L waves. See the love waves, also called as a L waves, lead to horizontal shifting of the earth. So these waves are confined to the surface of the earth and produce an entirely horizontal motion. 
moving ahead with the next question so which among the following scale is not related to the measurement of earthquake so you have the following options and the correct answer is option c that is beaufort scale see the beaufort scale is used to measure the wind speed whereas the rest of the mentioned scales are related to the measurement of the earthquake